What's good, y'all? I'm Dee, and welcome back to my channel. Um, today we are here because your girl just got a package, okay? I just got a package. I just got a package, y'all. I'm like, I'm just so happy right now. Like, y'all understand? <laughs> I finally got me some gas from Impala, so I'm really like excited right now. Um, so I'm gonna be doing the unboxing of these bad boys, and I guess y'all can stay with me today a little bit, try them on, and see how they work, and see how they operate. But before I get into the good stuff, do me a favor, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, turn those post notifications on, and you know what? Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up because it's gonna be good. <laughs> So your girl finally got her some skates and I am like lit. I'm excited because I've been looking for skates. I wanna say I started looking for some maybe in May. I couldn't find any that I liked or any that was like priced at a reasonable price. So, you know, I just waited and waited because everything was sold out. I feel like when the quarantine went down, people start buying those stuff they ain't never bought before. People been buying pools, buying up all the gym equipment, just buying up everything. And they even bought up all the skates. Like a lot of the sites I was going on before I, um, I came across Impala skates, a lot of them were sold out. Impala was sold out too. Instead of getting me some quads, which are like the regular roller skates, I purchased some roller blades. When I was younger, if I'm not mistaken, my first pair of skates was the Fisher Price skate. They were like yellow and blue, real kitty like Then I had got some roller blades. They were Barbie. They were like a fuchsia pink. I had got those. I didn't have the white ones. I had the fuchsia pink ones. And then my last pair of roller blades were just some regular um, roller blades. They were black and had a little green going on them, nothing fancy. But those were my last pair. And I haven't seen those since I was like 10. So that was like the last time I had those. But like I said, I'm no stranger to skating or anything like that. Hell, when I was younger, I remember I had a skating party. Okay, let's get to story time real quick. Y'all sit down, sit down, sit down. <laughs> All right, so when I was, I think I was turning maybe seven or eight. I had a skate party. My mama used to always make sure we had like fun parties, you know, cool parties. We were skating, bowling, sleepovers, you know, bringing cupcakes to school, whatever. But anyway, shout out to my mama. And it was so fun. I had a cake, my friends from school. It was lit, you know, I was happy. It was my birthday. And the skating ring was like, hey y'all, all the kids to the floor, we finna have a, a skating uh, a skating race or something like that. And I was like, okay, cool. Let me go, let me go side up. Let me go, <laughs> you know, run, let me. I get on the line, they blow the whistle or the horn or whatever the case may be. And y'all, this girl next to me, she literally pushed me out the way. I was gonna say sling me down, but she didn't do that cause. <laughs> But she definitely pushed me and I fell. I busted my lip. I, I probably got maybe two strides before she like pushed me out the way. My lip was bleeding, I was crying. And this was before I was, you know, grew my thick skin and before I was on some, you know, protect myself and somebody come at me, etc. This is, I was a kid, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't on no, ooh, hit her back. That wasn't on my mind. And plus she was already gone, so. <laughs> I'm up in and go chase her. I'm in pain. I'm hurt right now. My lip is busted. It's bleeding. Y'all, she pushed me and I was just like, on my birthday, really? This this is how we're gonna do this? But anywho, I thought when I look back on it now, it's so funny. I would just never forget that day because that girl literally pushed me. Whatever. Anywho, we used to go skating for fun. Me, my cousins, my mama, my mama and my aunt, they actually know how to like jam skate. And that is my goal. I wanna learn how to skate backwards. I wanna learn how to like dance with it, everything. I wasn't able to find any um, quad skates first, so I got me some rollerblades. I ordered my roller blades from Roller Skate Nation, I think. I'll uh, mention it in the description box. And they were pretty reasonable. I think I paid like maybe $80, that's with shipping. But I got me some roller blades, and I've been rollerblading for probably a month now. When I rollerblade for probably like a good 45 minutes to an hour, I burn between 400 and 500 calories, y'all. Like your girl is really out there on her brink stuff. Well, 
<laughs> maybe not pranks. I'm not doing any tricks or anything, but I'm definitely like, you know, skating. I'm, I put my uh, beats on, put my music on, put a little playlist on, and I just, you know, chill out, jam. Like, it's really relaxing. It's a cool hobby, and I like it. If I work out in the morning, I'll skate in the evening when it gets a little cooler because, you know, it's hot right now. Or um, if I don't work out in the morning, I'll skate first. And then after I'm done skating, I'll go to the track and like run, do a few laps or something like that. So I get some cardio in on top of cardio, which is skating. You can really burn a lot of calories skating, y'all. So, I mean, it's really a cool thing to get into. The last time I went to the skating ring was back in September. And when I went, it's always something happening with me at the skating ring. When I went, me and my friend, we, we've gone before because we like to go on uh, adult night or old people night or whatever they want to call it. <laughs> we would go. So we went skating back in September. I was just looking at this video. We went skating. I was just skating on the outside. I don't really like to get too deep into it because I started to realize people at the skating ring was really doing tricks. Like I'm talking jumping in the air, skating backwards doing figure eights y'all they were doing everything cartwheels flips okay maybe not all of that but they was definitely getting it in and i was just like okay i need to stay on the outside because there's too much going on in this middle right here's too much going on in this circle i was expecting you know something more chill fun we had like the old heads in there the ogs of skating the people who probably do this stuff beyond the hobby like getting it in it was really cool to watch but i'm sitting here i'm far off to the side minding my own business this dude I, I think he lost his balance or footing or something i don't know he bumps into me y'all jam my whole pinky he's like oh my god i'm so sorry and i'm just like i can't win for losing at this game <laughs> but it was still cool still fun we had to get up out of there because the lady was just like i don't know how advanced y'all are with skating but y'all it's gonna get real serious in here just to let y'all know so we was ready to go anyway so we did but anywho i had to get into that story but like i said i love to skate and i finally got my impala skates now with these impala skates I signed up for a notification for restock and I did that on July 1st. So I paid for it, I pre-ordered everything and they said that they will begin shipping them July 15th. July 13th comes, I wanna say, and I get a notification from UPS and they're saying you have a package coming, et cetera, et cetera. But I'm like, what else did I order? You know, I've been ordering a lot of stuff over quarantine, but I'm like, okay, what all did I buy? Like, Deandra, what you doing? One, I was expecting Impala to send me a notification. That's what they said. They was gonna send a notification with a tracking information, et cetera. But it was just you straight UPS, no middleman. I was like, these must be my skates. So my skates finally they actually came July 15th. I thought I wouldn't get it till days after July 15th, but I got it on July 15th, so I was really excited about that. And I haven't even opened this box yet. I haven't opened it at all. I was like, uh, I want to do a video unboxing for you guys, and then I really haven't had time to try them out. But today, <laughs> today, baby, we finna get on these, okay? We finna be rolling. I'm gonna roll, okay? I'm gonna roll. I also started me an Instagram page to document my skate diary. Cause like I said, I really do wanna perfect my skating. I wanna learn how to skate backwards. I wanna do jam skate. I wanna do everything that I can within my ability. So follow me on Instagram at DDB Rowling. Yes, DDB Rowling. I was trying to figure out something cool and cute. <laughs> I got me some skates. What they sound, Atia? No ticket, no skates. But guess what? <laughs> I don't even need a ticket anymore. I got the skates, baby. Look, these are Impala skates. Impala skates. Look at this. Who drew this? Who's the artist? This is gorgeous. I really do love this box. This is really dope. I love it. It's pretty. All right, so let's open this bad boy up. Woo. All right, so I got a size eight. They did say they are true to size, so I didn't get a seven or six or anything. And this is like regular standard sizing, I guess, for women. They have a lot of different color options and styles, but at the time, they only restocked a select few. I didn't want the cheetah ones just yet, and I really didn't want the mint green, didn't want white or black, so I wanted to something. So I wanted to go with a fun color, so I went with this pretty pastel pink. Cute, and it's infused with yellow, as y'all see. This is nice. This is my first time really just opening it up, y'all. Honestly, and just taking a real good look at it. 
this is really nice the yellow um the yellow shoestring and yellow is my favorite color um i love blushes and different types of pinks and i love rose gold so this was really perfect for me i know it kind of may give you easter vibes but it's like a fun color you know it's bubbly and i love it i guess these are the rubber reels they say you need for when you're outside but i think this is a hybrid skate so i can do use these outside and indoors so that's a plus i'm excited this is really really cute looks like a it looks well made so that's a plus i'm really excited to try these bad boys on it's really really nice i've never owned a pair of skates like quad skates like I, said, I had rollerblades but i never owned a pair of like skates um it also comes with oh they have a little extended warranty so that's a plus and i think wait hello okay yeah so this the extended warranty here and then they gave you some directions, I guess, so if you ever want to change the wheels out, which you probably will have to if you're going to be skating a lot. You want to make sure your wheels are good to go, just like, you know, with your car and your tires. So, yeah, this is this is the skate, y'all. I'm really excited. I'm lit. Now, since I've been rollerblading, I don't know how to stop when I rollerblade. So, I'm just running into fences, like, <laughs> just like <laughs> no brakes no nothing just running into stuff but these i know how to stop i know how to use the stopper so um i do want to perfect my rollerblading as well but i think i'm gonna shift my focus a little bit towards the quads the roller skates and so i paid about um a hundred dollars for these skates yes they are pretty pricey but um as you can tell they're really great quality i was interested in the moxies but y'all mm, I looked up the moxie prices and they were like almost a car notes and I'm like girl we in pandemic <laughs> you know like this is too much but maybe I'll work my way up to those but I feel like these are perfect starter skates I, I watched a lot of reviews on these and they have a lot of great reviews I think I made a great purchase just based off the looks of things but we'll see once I you know get to rolling because you know Didi finna be rolling so I'm really excited to get in these skates try them out and perfect my new hobby because you know why not it's fun roller skating is fun i've been on instagram looking at all these instagram accounts and i've been you know geeked up come watch me skate all right don't laugh at me but i'm ready to get my roll bounce on my atl on y'all come skate with me real quick let's go try these out all right <laughs> okay so i finally got these bad boys laced and I am about to take over this court. Excuse my socks. <laughs> I forgot my knee pads. So uh, I need a little bit of kind of protection for my legs and my knees and stuff. These are like thigh socks. So I can pull them up even higher. So yeah, let's, let's see. Let's see what they hitting for. I have them on. And I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. <laughs> I feel like I ain't skating in like decades. This is this is crazy. I'm a little scared. I think I like hyped myself up a little bit too much, but it's okay. You know, we gonna conquer. We gonna conquer all. It's okay, all right? Look at me, moving backwards. I ain't even did nothing. Gravity or whatever this is called. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> but um, yeah, so this is crazy. I really feel like I ain't skating. Maybe it's because I'm on concrete. I've never, I don't think I've ever rollerblade, I mean roller skated on concrete. I was always on like wood. I don't know. We, let's, we gonna see, we gonna see. Yeah, see I'm holding on to this damn net. But, y'all know what I think it is? I need to break them in, that's all. I'm used to rental skates, ones that are already old and worn down, so. That's what we gonna blame it on. We're just gonna blame it on. They not, I haven't broken me. You know when you buy a fresh pair of heels? When you buy a new pair of heels and when you first put them on, they feel a little weird. That's the vibe I'm getting. Cause like, I know how to skate, but I feel like I gotta break them in because um, when I, you know, I'm used to wearing used skates at the skating ring and those are already, you know, broken in completely like ran down but and i'm already sweating because that's that's how hot it is but all right all 
right, y'all. Get some. it up for today today i just did like regular free skating no tricks no nothing just trying out the skates i like them so far um this is just day one of my skate journey uh please follow me again at ddb rolling on instagram and y'all know the routine go ahead and subscribe turn those post notifications on and give this video a thumbs up also if you're new to skating or even an og to skating or in the you know intermediate phase hit me up in my comments share your tips other than that the sun is going down so your girl is gonna go remember subscribe subscribe and i will see y'all next time bye